Alabama Representative Mo Brooks has been leading the effort and says it's gaining momentum. He joins us live. Sir, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Good morning. My pleasure. So why did you decide to do this? I discerned early on that there was massive voter fraud and violation of the United States Constitution and various federal election statutes. And from that, I deduced that the Democrats were actively engaging in voter fraud and election theft. And in my judgment, at least from the evidence I had seen, I came to the conclusion that if we only counted legal votes cast by eligible American citizens, then Donald Trump, not Joe Biden, won the Electoral College. And once I reached that conclusion, I had no course of action to take other than to fight for honest and accurate elections. What reforms do you think you will be able to effectuate through this action? Well, I hope, if nothing else, we will abide by some of the recommendations of a uh, commission on federal elections in 2005 that was co-chaired by Democrat President Jimmy Carter. We need to have photo identification of voters to minimize the fraud that occurs there. We need to make it easier for our boards of registrars to deny illegal aliens and non-citizens voter registration cards. You know, the Democrats in 1993 rammed through the United States Congress the National Voter Registration Act that makes it illegal for our voter registrars to require proof of citizenship when an illegal alien or other non-citizen demands to be registered to vote. That's insanity. So we need to fix the non-citizen voting problem. And then finally, we need to do what Jimmy Carter recommended, which is minimize, minimize the use of mail-out ballots, absentee ballots, because as the commission noted in 2005, that is probably the most vulnerable, fraud-prone area of our election system. Let's go ahead and take a look at the statement. This is the coalition of seven House Republicans saying they won't challenge the election results, reading, quote, Congress has only a narrow role in the presidential election <clears throat> process. Its job is to count the electors submitted by the states, not to determine which electors the states should have sent. What do you say to that? Well, I think that's the kind of argument that members of our surrender caucus uh, advocate on a regular basis. The bottom line is this. There is massive voter fraud. There is election theft activity. You can either turn a blind eye to that voter fraud and election theft activity, or you can fight for the integrity of our election system. I choose to fight, and I would add further that that statement from uh, those members of the Surrender Caucus directly conflicts with over 200 years of conduct by the United States Congress with respect to the election of the president of the United States. So you've got 200 years of history, and none of it is on the side of that statement. Finally, Congressman, President Trump and President-elect Biden rallying today in Georgia before tomorrow's historic runoffs. Are you confident the Republicans can pull this out, and do you feel that your efforts through what you are doing right now are going to help or hurt Leffler and Purdue? I am absolutely confident that if only lawful votes were counted, in Georgia's election tomorrow, then Loeffler and Purdue win. In fact, in my judgment, uh, Purdue, he won on November the 3rd. If you'll recall, he was denied the winner's position by three tenths of 1%. There was easily enough illegal votes counted, voter fraud conducted in the state of Georgia to have made the difference between Senator Purdue winning without a runoff. I believe he won without a runoff on November 3rd. And under Article 1, Section 5 of the United States Constitution, I hope that Senator Perdue will contest this election if it is stolen again and that the Senate will correct that wrong as they are authorized to do under the United States Constitution. Congressman Mo Brooks starting a movement. It's going to be interesting to see how far this goes. We'll check back in with you. Thank we you. appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.